Alrighty, here we have uh, Spirit, Lucky's Big Adventure, being played on Xbox Series X, Curious of Outright Games. I uh, thank them very much for the opportunity. Uh, so this is a game that plays very similar to like Red Dead Redemption, um, and games of that nature where you, it's this an open world game where <laughs> transportation is, uh, this spirit here as the horse. Um, so this is, I mean, this technically is an open world game. I mean, you can get to a lot of different places. I uh, got a map here, quite a big map, honestly. Um, you have several different um, quests you can do. Like for instance, I got Music of Incline as a secondary quest, and then Tricky Trot here, which is uh, the, the primary quest. So you can do the quest in any order. In fact, I can go ahead and do Music of Incline. Um, but one thing that I really don't like about the game, and I'll show you right here, is that um, in some instances the game will force you to do the main quest. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, the main quest right now is to clean uh, Spirit here. If you don't clean Spirit, you know he can use his uh, horseshoes to make him run faster. Uh, the horseshoes are depleted over time, um, and then when he's too dirty, what happens is the horseshoes will lock until you end up going ahead and cleaning him. Well, before you get to the point of cleaning him to, to be able to regain his horseshoes, you have to go through a series of quests, and it's it, it, it actually slows the game place down because you're, you're sitting here, you know, going this quickly, uh, going from point A to point B, and it's just not very fast at all. It's just, it's very slow. Um, and it's kind of tedious, honestly. Uh, so the game purposely slows you down. It kind of forces you back on the main, on the main quest. So like if you want to go out and do side quests, you can up to a point. Like when you get to this point. So I don't agree with that at all. Uh, that kind of limits or narrows down the, the open world aspect of the game, I feel like. Um, and forcing you to do uh, this quest here. And I need to actually take the horse and put him over here, I guess. Okay. So sometimes the game will. Oh, here we go. Okay, did break this time. Uh, sometimes the game will like freeze, like not freeze, but like I'm trying to get to a specific area. I'm trying to take a shortcut. Sometimes the game will kind of lock spirit in a in a state of, of paralysis, if you will. You'll be able to actually move. Um, and that's since what you want to do. You want to go ahead and go to the map and you want to fast travel to a location. Uh, and that'll reset Spirit and get him to the location. Uh, my lucky the location that you want him to get to. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean a Spirit here. This little mini game. And this, the uh, horseshoes will eventually come back. I have to do this periodically over time to get the horseshoes to come back, but it's still something that, I mean, it's, it's kind of fun, I guess, but I just wish that, um, the game didn't force you to do this. If you're out on a quest, um, but since I understand it, it's it's a kids' game. You know, what, what can you do? <laughs> so loading the time isn't isn't too bad. Um, it definitely doesn't feel optimized because of how slow the load time is, but it's definitely not not terrible. There we go. Okay. 
Wait, I thought I cleaned him. Do I not? I have to clean him some more? Seriously? Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Sometimes what happens when you clear a uh, quest, uh, the same quest will be up for a minute until it, it, it determines. Oh, you've already done that quest. Uh, and what's kind of cool about this game is that it doesn't just rely on, on you utilizing spirit um, to traverse places and do fetch quests, but you can actually get off of, of uh, spirit and climb up rocks and, and sneak around and stuff. So, I mean, it kind of, it, it definitely, um, it's not... I'm, I'm going to go as far as to say it's, it's a linear open world game. <laughs> in the sense that it's open world, but it, it definitely kind of nudges you in, in the correct direction here. Um, I do appreciate the uh, anime cutscenes. I wish that the entire cutscene was uh, voice uh, was acted. It's not. Um, uh, Lucky will occasionally say one-liners as well as everybody else um, in the gameplay in the game as well. Well, a couple one-liners, and that's pretty much it. Um, but uh, right now you're looking for um, this horse and Hendrix here. This evil guy here is bad guy. Um, he is uh, he's supposedly he's supposedly stolen her, stolen the horse, and you get the horse back and rescue the horse and stuff. That's his main quest line. Um, but uh, as you'll see here. Um, this will, uh, get you to do a stealth quest like this. First of all, you were on, you were on the horse, now you're on foot. So definitely kind of, um, kind of breaks up the, uh, uh game a little bit from the fetch quest aspect. But the majority of the game will be fetch quests. Um, other times you'll be gathering items for people. Um, and then other times you'll be doing this, this, this stealth type, type gameplay. Um, what I don't understand quite is the fact that, I mean, you're this far away. There's no way, if you're on a horse, that, that, that I can't hear you. <laughs> I mean, really. Uh, and, like, when you're on foot, if you're running behind somebody, you're this far away, you cannot tell me that they're not going to be able to see you or hear you. Well, hear you at least. So, apparently, <laughs> Hendrix is deaf. <laughs> <laughs> but another cool aspect is the fact that you can take photos of things like of, uh, of spirit and of animals and stuff which is kind of fun kind of break up the, the game a little bit kind of give you something else to do um, but I mean if you guys like like spirit the, the franchise if you guys like the movie um, if you guys are an open world very kid friendly uh, take on Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, this is going to be the game to pick up. Uh, it's not too expensive. It's available on Switch, uh, Xbox uh, One, Series X, PS4, PS5, Steam. Um, and definitely a game worth checking out. Uh, it's a decent game and a good price. And I'm um, over here. I want to thank our Red Games for the opportunity. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.